Hello again and welcome back. I do feel sorry for Sherry having to see this in a minute. If it's, I mean, I'm, I think she's about 12, which is about the age I was when I was playing it. Even though I probably shouldn't have been because of the age rating, but it never did me no harm. Comments. Others may not. Might get the ladder to come down. I love how they always ask you if you want to go up the ladder. It's like, well, you kind of need to anyway. I think in the newer games, it doesn't ask you. It just does it. that is in a short while. I mean, obviously most people have played this game are probably watching this so they'll know, but it's mainly for those who don't. I think it's on uh, Leon's first scenario, you, have to, you do get to fight him. I don't know if you have to play a Sherry in this part or not. Oh yes you do I think. Hopefully it won't be as bad as her last part. Why the hell they don't give her an open I don't know. I suppose it's a thing to do with kids and guns, it's not a good image to promote, it would be my guess. Hopefully, oh no, hopefully you will not see me, hmm, I think he's clocked on. Can I go for that air duct? Yep. I hope there's nothing important in that room. Oh, not these. I hate these things with a passion. Get off. I will just, I'm probably going to regret doing this, but I just kind of get the feeling we missed something. Usually it's just ammo, but to be honest, in my current state, I'll be happy for anything. Oh, you dirty swine. Oh, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have bothered. <laughs> that is typical. I love how they have, they have two... I suppose it's just to do with uh, disc space. They've always got either green trousers or that black t-shirt. I can't quite read what it says. It does look like SWAT, but I'm not sure it is. Well, I didn't want this... Uh, these things are so annoying. I hate how Sherry does not show any injuries. <laughs> you have to keep checking, make sure she's not in danger. What she got? There we go. Oh, there's, I think this is. I can't remember what the medal's for. I do remember. Switch back to Claire now. That's right. Claire? Oh. Oh. 
you can kind of guess just what happened from there but I mean as I said if most people maybe who may be watching this have played the game so they know the story but I'm just pointing it out for those who haven't oh blue herbs I think we're gonna need them for the spiders hopefully we can get some ammo because after the last couple of parts and my silly mistakes it's uh, not looking too clever for me but this is as I said uh, I think I've said um, this is the thing I love about this game really is what I just love the fact that you can you know it's just a, I suppose it's a thrill of knowing Sorry, reading that a bit too uh, fast, I'll go back. It's just the thrill of, um, you know, just knowing through that you can... Uh, it's just, just the survival thing, I think. It's the thing that really draws me to it. Because I'm not too big on the old uh, gore stuff. I'll just make sure I've ever read that before I move on. And I can, I mean, you know, there's a lot of discussion about Operation Raccoon City and like the newer Resident Evils, where, you know, obviously people don't like the new, it's more action y to, to survival horror. And I, I you know, I understand, uh, you know, I did enjoy five parts of it. I mean, some of it was a bit not as good as the other games I mean 4 I, that was good I think 4 I mean you know 4 and 5 it's which one was better I mean I'm probably gonna like 4 I was probably I wouldn't I mean game wise probably 4 was better but I mean as I'm I prefer Chris and Jill as like from the re first Resident Evil not that I hate Leon it's just they're my favorite characters in the series I'd have to go uh, I mean, four, as I said, is a better game, but I did enjoy five, maybe because of what you know, just that. But yeah, I mean, I can understand why people are, you know, not too keen on the whole action side of things now, and miss this. Because I mean, for people playing through it, I've absolutely loved it up till now. Maybe it's uh, just good memories playing it, or you know. Just that it, well, it was a good game, whether or not memories make me think that it was. Anyway, let's get back to this. I, I mean, from what I've seen of Operation Raccoon City, it does look fun, but you know, it's you've got to sort of with the way Capcom have been with the last couple of games. You, well, out of five, I mean. You know, you do have to sort of. I mean, I didn't. As I said, I didn't dislike it. I'm, I mean, from some of the stuff I've seen of it, I like it, the look of it. But I'm a bit. There's some parts like where you sort of look at these things, and it's as if they've just sort of took. They they don't. They, it doesn't. I'm trying to think of a better way to put this. They basically, like, they're trying to use a game that's set on a timeline, but it's like they've just changed it a bit. And I don't like the look of that part of it. From what I've seen from some of the parts on uh, the internet, but you know, I'll give it a chance. Oh, first aid spray, I was hoping there'd be more ammo. Well, I think you know, there's a, there's two sides to it really. I think they're trying to attract newer players, and you know, maybe for whether or not. They're just hoping that the uh, older fans will catch on to it. I think really you can do it. You have to do a balance, really. I think Revelations on the D 3DS did that. In some ways did that well. That you know you had parts like this sort of thing where like you don't know what's coming around the corner and it makes you jump, which you know is quite nice to see again. And then it had you sort of action side where if you sort of like I think there's a on on the you can customize the weapons. You can have like a thing called daze, and if you daze them, you can actually go up and attack, the, like kick them, punch them, make stuff like that. And I thought that was a good combination of the both, really. And there was that zombie that we just encountered in here. 
Oh, he's in here. Hello, Jeffrey. How are you? Told you you can't have your dinner till later. He's down, is he? No, he's not. Why don't they ever stay down? Hopefully there's something useful in here because I've just wasted bullets again. Hmm, I don't think there's anything in here. Ah, there we go, what we got? Oh, that's helpful. That is actually quite helpful. So I wanted to share... Well, I probably didn't check that part of Sherry, actually. No, I think that's all we're going to find in here. But, yeah. It's going back up. I think you do... Yeah, Leon, you do meet up with him in a minute, if I remember correctly. Or do you? I can't. I think down this elevator. 